have you ever bought an electric blender and that electric blender spoils because you refuse to use the instruction manual given by the manufacturers? That is exactly what happens when you refuse to do marriage right. My name is Sandra Ezej Anyele. I am your Marriage Foundation Reality Coach. I want to thank all my returning subscribers. I want to also welcome my new subscribers to this life-changing channel. To my ladies that are intending to be married, I mean to our intending wives-to-be. Today's video is dedicated to you, which is why I have titled it How to Avoid Being the Problem in Your Marriage. There are so many things you can do and you are indirectly bringing problem to your marriage. Sometimes you don't know about it. Sometimes you know about it. Like in the scenario when I spoke of an electric blender, you saw the instruction manual in the carton. You saw it, it's not as if you did not see it, but you refused to open it, let alone reading it. Or you must have read it and you feel, ah, I beg, this instruction manual is too lengthy. You dropped it and you went ahead and you started using it the way you wanted and it spoiled or it burns. That is exactly what happens when you don't do your marriage right. Now I'm going to list out some things that you will do and you are bringing problem into your marriage. You are not married yet though, but you are doing these things and it will affect you in your marriage. The first thing you have to avoid is paying everything in the list that was given to your husband to be. What do I mean? In some cultures, there are different practices that you, there are processes that you go through. Some people, you know, there's no stipulated amount. It depends on your culture. But most cultures, especially in Nigeria, where I'm filming from, some cultures give list. Some cultures pay dowry. Like I said, there is no stipulated amount. Some people will even ask you to put 1,000 in the envelope or in the plate and give with kula not. You know, cultures differ. But what I'm saying is, the list that your husband to be has been given. Some people will give it to them, they will take it home, study it. Some people will negotiate, you know, different cultures, like I said. Now, because you are desperately in need of a man in your life, you ask him to give you the list. Don't worry. Since I'm already working and you're not working, let me pay everything. My people will not know. I'll just give you the money. Sometimes, too, your people will know. You'll just tell your mother or your father or your sister or anybody you are close to in your family that since you are working and your husband to be is not working, that you want to foot the bill of everything. My darling, when you are doing that, you are doing yourself a disservice. Even if you are working. For this man to say, I am ready to get married. I want to get married. Allow him. The best you can do is to whisper into the ears of your parents that, please, so my husband is just coming up. My husband doesn't have all the money. Please, reduce the things in the list. Or you people can negotiate. After all, in Igbo culture, they say they don't finish uh, paying for the things about their wife. Because you keep using a woman that you will live with for the rest of your life. You keep going to your in-laws. You keep, you know, dealing with them. So it's not a one-off thing. Let me just give them this money now and that's all. They are not selling you. So instead of you doing this, if your husband-to-be is not working, what you can do, my sister, is to help him to get a job. If he say he doesn't want to work, you know, secularly, or he doesn't want to be under somebody well and fine if you know you have money too much you can give him money to start a business instead of paying your own bride price another thing our would-be wives or bride to be what they do that will affect their marriage is when they tell the husband to be to open a joint account with them sweetheart the fact that this guy has made it known to you that he wants to marry you is not a guarantee that he will marry you Oh, better still, some girls feel by doing that, they are securing their marriage. You are not. You should not run faster than your shadow. Before you do that kind of investment, you have to make sure that even if it is 50,000 this man has, you people can do the things that 50,000 can do. And this man will legalize the marriage with you. When he has done that, then anything you want to do with him, because now both of you are one. You don't have to do the things the man is supposed to do because you are desperately in need of a husband because you feel if you don't do that he will go and marry another girl have you asked yourself if he wants to marry another girl is he not going to use money to marry another girl let us not turn things upside down let us do things the way it should be done remember i am not saying you should not help your man it is not what i'm saying but Things have to be done the right way. This man is here to marry you. You people are just dating for marriage. He has not even concluded arrangement that you don't even, you are not even 100% sure that he will marry you. You are going above him to show that, yes, I have money. Let me do this. You don't have to do that, my darling. Another thing our girls do that will affect their, their, their marriage drastically is before they marry them, they have already formed a close bond 
with the family member that is still would be in laws to the extent that anytime she's on leave she will travel to their village she will turn to house help she's there trying to please the mother in law she's there trying to please father in law she's there trying to please sister in law she's there trying to please everybody just for them to accept her and now when eventually they get married she stops doing that if she stops doing that they will say you have changed have you seen have you seen why it is important for you to do things the right way? Have you seen why it is important to marry right? Another thing that our girls do because they want to get married is going to live with their would-be husband. Let me tell you, you cannot do what you're supposed to do as a wife when a man is dating you. You are not supposed to do that. What do I mean? Apart from the fact that you are living with him, you are also cooking, washing, going to market, doing everything that you're supposed to do when you get married. So why do you think this man will hasten up and marry you? Why do you think? Why do you think he will do that? Or why do you think this man will not be laid back in terms of the way he behaves towards marrying you? For instance, this man, he doesn't have much, but all these things you are doing, you are doing it with your own money. My darling, stop that if you are doing that. It is high time we change things that are causing problems in our homes. This problem, sometimes they will come up in the course of our being married, I agree. But do you know that some of these things, we can stop them or we can avoid them before we even get into marriage. Don't do it your own way. Remember, the blender spoils because you refuse to follow what is written in the instruction manual. That is how you will have problem in your marriage if you refuse to follow the principles of marriage. There are things you have to wait until you get married before you start doing those things. If you do those things before you marry, ask yourself, what if this man calls off the wedding? What if this man decides to leave me and marry another person? Have you asked yourself that question? You just have to be careful. The way we wear seat belts when we are driving is the same way you wear seat belts in your marriage. Yes, that is the truth. You have to be prepared. You have to be very, very prepared because marriage is not a child's play. Don't do that to yourself. It will not help you. Another way to avoid being the problem in your marriage is by not making yourself a cash cow. How do you make yourself a cash cow? Because you are intending husband saw that you're working if the younger siblings or any of his siblings ask for money he will just direct them to you and you will happily excitedly give them the money because you think because he has said he will marry you he will eventually marry you sweetheart what if he doesn't marry you i am not saying you cannot help remember please don't quote me i am not saying you cannot help but know when to help that a man said he will marry you does not mean he has married you that a man said or that he has even taken you to go and see the parents, it's not a guarantee that he will marry you. So you have to be wise. Let me tell you, a man knows who he wants to marry and he will marry the person. So don't be deceived, my darling. Wait until you get married to this man. Even when you get married to him, you still should not make yourself a cash cow because when you do that, you are helping this man to be lazy. You are not trying to bribe these people. I mean, you are would be in law. You're not trying to bribe them. So why will you, because you are working, why will you not make yourself available anytime they need money? You are the first person they will call. You are spending the money that you're supposed to use and better your life. Have you not heard of self-development? You don't know what to do with that money. You don't want to improve in your career. You don't, there are so many things you can do with money. Of course, if you want to be, if you want to run an NGO, it's, it's good, it's a good one. God will bless you for it. But we are saying that you should not use your hands to spoil your marriage. Because let me also tell you, these things you are doing, if this man eventually marries you, one day he will tell you, or you think men don't have mouth, that because you were too desperate, as if he did you a favor by marrying you. You have to be wise, my darling. Do the right thing. So that when you get married, your marriage will be joyful. If you don't want to be the problem in your marriage, please avoid lying to yourself about the obvious. You might be wondering, what do I mean? Lying to yourself about the obvious is, when you have seen that this man that is professing love, this man that has promised to marry you, is not doing anything about it. In terms of the first year, he said he will marry you. The second year, he said he will marry you. The third year, he said he will marry you. Let us assume that the first year, the excuse he gave you was that he doesn't have a job yet, which is good. He's supposed to get a job, at least basic. Now, the second year, he has gotten a job. He said, hey, you know, I just got a job. But let me stabilize. The money I have is not enough. The third, he keeps giving you excuses. And you are seeing these excuses. And you are still, you know, accommodating these excuses. Thinking that this man will change. Thinking that he will change his mind. No, my darling. When a man says he wants to marry you, and he genuinely wants to marry you, do you know that this man will do all 
all in his power to make sure that he marries you because he doesn't want to lose you. That is the truth. Ask anybody that is married, they, they will tell you the same thing. So don't try to deceive yourself. Tell yourself the truth. Don't lie to yourself about the obvious. You have seen it that this man don't want to marry you and you are still pushing. Don't force yourself on a man because when you do that, that is exactly what you see when you marry this man eventually. There are some of these things that we, some of these things we can actually avoid them, but because we are too desperate, because we feel that he is the only person that is meant for us in the whole wide world. And wherever he is, that is where we must be. No, that is not how marriages are done. Marry right so that the blessings that come with marriage will follow you. Marry right so that some of the mistakes that people have made in the past, you will avoid them. Because if you close your eyes to some of these things, it is not a mistake because you saw them and you still jumped into it. When you, when you do that, you are hurting yourself. When a man says he wants to marry you, it is different from, I have married you, or I am about to marry you. I will marry you is a future tense. Let me go and pay your diary. Let us go. You know, let's go. That one is present. They want to do it. No man that loves you genuinely, no man that wants to be with you, that wants to marry you, will waste your time. That is just the gospel truth. So don't shoot yourself, my sister. Take it easy. The right man for you will come. I can assure you that. Just be good. Just do the right thing. Just position yourself well. Uh huh. Are you surprised to hear that? Yes, you have to position yourself well. I think that would be another topic because I have it in my list. Yes, you have to position yourself well because where you are might be affecting you. Where you are might be delaying you. That is just the truth. But that's not the topic for today. So, have you seen in all the points I've mentioned? If there are things there that you are doing presently, consider stopping them. Go through this video so that you will know the things you are doing currently and the things you are even about to do so that you don't do it, so that you don't make that mistake. So that you don't create problems for yourself even before you get married. Because you can actually do that, then when you get married, you start seeing the effect of the things you have done to yourself. Yes. Now, in the comment section, I also implore you, if there are things that I'm supposed to mention that I did not mention, feel free to talk about it on the comment section. And if there are topics, I have, like in my video, I said that I have topics already written down, but I don't mind if you still have topics that you want me to talk about, just write it in the, in the comment section. I am here to help. I will talk about it and I will talk about it honestly. I am not going to hide anything from you. If this my video has made sense to you, please give it a thumbs up. Share this video, comment, like. If you know anybody that you feel need this video, please share this video to, to her so that she will also learn. We are all learning. Yes, we are all learning. And by God's grace, we are, we are on a mission to achieving a joyful home. I will see you in my next video.